Hello, I am Dr. Sangeeta. I am a fertility specialist. I am into reproductive medicine and cosmetic gynecology, practicing at Coral Advanced Fertility Center, New Bell Road. Endometriosis. What is endometriosis? Endometriosis is a condition wherein the endometrial cells, those are the cells lining the uterine cavity, they are present elsewhere like over the tubes, over in the ovaries, in the pelvis and near the bladder etc. So this condition is called endometriosis and it is commonly seen in the reproductive age group of females that is between 15 to 35-40 years. Common symptoms of endometriosis are pain. So pain is the symptom. When how does it present itself? It presents itself during menstruation, premenstruation or postmenstruation. So pain is the most common symptom and they can experience pain during intercourse that is dyspareunia. Again pain during menstruation, pain during intercourse, pain during our examination, Sometimes they'll have pain during urination because it can be present inside the bladder also. It can be present near the rectum that is the anal canal and it presents the painful verdification. Sometimes there can be infertility due to this. That means they are unable to conceive without any medical intervention. And sometimes not so common but endometriosis of bladder or the colon can present as cyclical bleeding. So whenever the menstruation happens, these cells inside the bladder or inside the colon bleed and sometimes it can be misdiagnosed as cancer or some other conditions. So the commonest symptoms are pain, pain and pain and followed by bleeding, abnormal sites and sometimes the young ladies can present with severe premenstrual symptoms like nausea, vomiting just before the onset of menstruation and in the first two three days of menstruation. Endometriosis can be diagnosed sometimes based on history and during ultrasound examination, during our laparoscopic surgeries and during MRIs. So the most important commonest investigations we do are the three examination followed by ultrasound scans. Nowadays, there are specialists who specialize in doing endometrial scans and it is almost equivalent to MRI scans in detecting endometriosis followed by MRI scans. But the gold standard is always laparoscopic surgery because when we do, when we put a scope or a camera inside the abdominal cavity and when we see, visualize the magnified view of our inside the pelvic cavity, then we can definitely see some endometriotic spots which present in varying patterns and there can be additions that organs are stuck to each other and so many other things. And at the same time, during laparoscopy, we can treat the endometriosis as well and we can just do fulguration, remove the endometriosis, send for the biopsy or remove the additions caused by the endometriosis. And sometimes endometriosis inside the ovary will result in chocolate cyst or endometrioma of the ovary. So that can be tackled with the surgery. And people who cannot conceive with endometriosis but still can conceive normally in stage 1 and stage 2 of endometriosis post-surgery they are definitely going to conceive naturally. But in severe endometriosis, surgery will, will have to be followed by in IVF, that is in vitro fertilization for them to conceive. And MRI scan, it adds on to the endometriosis diagnosis and definitely we get an important information before doing the surgery like we can plan what we have to do during the surgery if you can pick up some abnormal sites of endometriosis. And coming to the treatment of endometriosis, we treat it symptomatically depending on the severity, age group and what are their needs. People who don't want girls, young girls who are not keen on conceiving, we treat them as conservatively as possible if there are no bigger cysts or any other things. The pain management is simple painkillers followed by some diet, nutrition and lifestyle changes along with hormone therapy as second line and we have newer drugs and injections to control the endometriosis which are all temporary and once the girls or ladies they conceive that's the time sometimes the endometriosis because of the pregnancy there will be a break in the menstrual cycle and sometimes 30 to 40 percent of the patients endometriosis cures during pregnancy and lactation 
because they no longer menstruate during pregnancy and lactation. In some severe cases, we with endometriotic cysts or some other cases, we definitely have to go in for surgery. And when we do laparoscopic surgery, even for a normal case of infertility, we find that there will be so many cases of endometriosis once we enter the abdominal cavity. Though they don't have any pain or any symptom of endometriosis, we have seen when we do a diagnostic lab for any other purpose like for fibroid or PCO or with the unexplained infertility, we find endometriotic spots, additions, corrosion pelvis. So all these things, as I said earlier, depends on the severity of the disease. We tackle with surgery and they can be completely cured of the disease for some time. But the recurrence rate is still there for endometriosis and only pregnancy and lactation, they will be symptom free followed by like in 50% of the patients, it can recur. And if they are in the reproductive age group not wishing to conceive, we have the hormonal therapy for them. We have so many advanced injections which will control their symptoms along with surgery. We can definitely give them a good quality of life.